My name's Aaron Croman, and I'm going to show you how to make a stone wall in Photoshop. Okay, so I'm going to make a new layer, so don't mess up the background. And I'm going to go to Filter, and make sure you have a black and white currently as your foreground. You can even play with a few other colors, but we're just going to go black and white. Uh, go to Render, and go to Clouds. And this is a pretty good texture, but I, I want more uh, deeper uh, blacks and whites, so I'm going to go back to uh, Filter, and I'm going to click on Difference Clouds, and it just kind of flips everything with a little bit of variation. You could even go to Levels if you want, but this is a little bit more fun, as it uh, kind of surprises you what, what you get. And you can either hit uh, Control or Command F uh, to do the effect again. So, ooh, that looks nice, little kind of uh, veins of ro white rock. I'm going to hit it again until I get kind of something I like. Okay, so this looks like a good uh, uh, interplay of uh, white and dark. So I'm going to go to Channels, and I'm going to right-click on uh, the blue and Duplicate Layer, and I'm going to call it... Uh, stone wall. And hit OK. Uh, then I'm going to click on the RGB to make sure all the colors are. Now you can click on any of these and duplicate any of them. I just chose the blue. Uh, we want it to be turned off because otherwise it makes everything look like this when it's turned on. So uh, then we're going to go back to layers. Uh, and uh, we're going to go to filter, render, lighting effects. And it's uh, okay. Uh, it's kind of lighting it, adding some dark. That's cool, but it doesn't really feel like rock. Uh, so we're going to go to the texture channel and uh, click on stone wall, just like what we have in our channel. And now it adds a little bit of texture. So now kind of where the whites are, it uh, lift, pulls that up while pushing back down the, the blacks. There are other ways to make a stony texture in Photoshop, such as uh, taking a picture of a stone, or even uh, making a new texture with one of the other filters in Photoshop. Uh, so this looks fine, so we're gonna hit OK. And there we go, nice rocky texture. But it doesn't exactly look like a wall. Maybe a mountain, but not a wall. So we're going to go to Filter, uh, going to go to Texture, Mosaic Tiles. And uh, what this does is it kind of uh, adds a texture to the uh, wall. So it uh, looks kind of just uh, like bricks. So we can uh, control the grout, what's in between the brick. We can control the size. A little difficult to see. Let's see, get the uh, too big. So the, well, I might need to darken it a little bit later. I'll do that next. So we're going to make a, a decent size uh, of the bricks, the tiles. Grout width. And make it a little bigger. And we don't want the grout light. Uh, we want it kind of as uh, dark as possible so we can see it. And uh, hit OK. And it looks OK, but I want a little bit more. So I'm going to uh, go to Filter and Mosaic Tiles. So we'll do the same thing again. And it kind of uh, pushes in the darkness of the grout, but kind of washed everything out. I don't really like that. But it's kind of hard to see the grout. Uh, you can uh, go in with a, a brush and kind of darken it up. Uh, just lightly go in for some select areas. So now that you have a stone wall, you can place the texture into one of your other drawings or uh, even a picture and make it look a lot more interesting. Uh, maybe add a moat. My name's Aaron Croman. Good luck with your art.